Hey everyone, in this lesson we're talking about tryptophan metabolism and the kynurenine pathway. So to begin, tryptophan is an essential amino acid. It is important because it is the precursor for production of 5-hydroxytryptamine or serotonin and it's also important for the production of melatonin. And tryptophan is degraded by the kynurenine pathway. Now the kynurenine pathway is the pathway that metabolizes and degrades tryptophan and interestingly it is activated by stress signaling hormones we'll talk about a bit more about that a bit later and the two end products of the kynurenine pathway are quinolinic acid and picolinic acid we'll also talk about these end metabolites a little bit later so if we have tryptophan tryptophan can be metabolized into 5-hydroxytryptamine or 5-HT but if it's degraded it can be acted on by two other enzymes, indolamine-2,3-dioxygenase, or IDO, or tryptophan dioxygenase, or TIDO. And these, will pro these two enzymes will both process tryptophan into kynurenine. Interestingly, these two enzymes are activated by different cytokines. Indolamine-2,3-dioxygenase is activated by interleukin-1, interleukin-6, and tumor necrosis factor. And tryptophan dioxygenase is activated by the stress hormone cortisol. So stress and alterations in the immune system can actually activate these two enzymes that can lead to the metabolism of tryptophan into kynurenine. Kynurenine can then be metabolized by the enzyme kynurenine aminotransferase 1, 2, and 3 into kynurenic acid, or it can be metabolized by the enzyme kynurenine hydroxylase into 3-hydroxykynurenine. Essentially, this enzyme attaches a hydroxyl group to this hydrocarbon ring. And once we've actually shunted tryptophan away from the production of 5-hydroxytryptamine into this degradation pathway, we've essentially reduced the production of serotonin. We've reduced the levels of serotonin. And that's why the kynurenine pathway has been implicated in um, issues with serotonergic functioning and also with psychiatric health issues. We'll talk about more about that a little bit later. Nonetheless, once we have 3-hydroxykinurinine, it can be acted on by the enzyme kinurinase to 3-hydroxyanthranilic acid. This can then be acted on by the enzyme 3-hydroxyanthraniate-3,4-dioxygenase to 2 amino 3 carboxymuconate semialdehyde. And then this can then be further broken down into the two end metabolites, picolinic acid and quinolinic acid. Quinolinic acid can then be further uh, metabolized into the important cofactor NAD. And I just want to talk a bit more about the kinurinine pathway and its end metabolite quinolinic acid. Quinolinic acid is an interesting end metabolite in that it itself has a neurotoxic effect. It is also an NMDA receptor agonist and has been shown to be associated with or involved in several different psychiatric disorders. And in fact, there are also other disease states that are associated with um, alterations in the kinurinine pathway and its end metabolite quinolinic acid. We talked briefly about how the kinurinine pathway may um, result in reduced serotonin production, which would reduce serotonergic activity and may lead to psychiatric issues such as depression. But other diseases that are associated with issues in this pathway, one of those disease states is hydroxykinurinuria, which is a genetic condition due to deficiency in the enzyme kinurinase. Other diseases that are associated with the kinurinine pathway and quinolinic acid is mood disorder, such as major depressive disorder. We've mentioned this again because of that reduced serotonergic activity and function. Interestingly, ALS, so amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, has also been associated with uh, disruptions in this pathway. And Parkinson's disease has also been associated with issues in the kinurinine pathway. And there's several other conditions that are associated with 
issues in the kinurinine pathway as well that I haven't listed here. So anyways, guys, that was a brief overview of the kinurinine pathway and tryptophan metabolism. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.